What's up and welcome to another YouTube video. My name is Eddie and I am still addicted to Marvel Snap. And this week, if you're watching this live, is the new movie of Ant-Man and the Wasp, Quantum Mania. So, for this week's uh, variant ranking, we're going to watch, or we're going to look at, Ant-Man and the Wasp. Today's video, we're hopping right into Ant-Man. So, as always, we're going to look at every single variant of the character. And we're going to talk about each one super quickly. And then we're going to rank them from worst to best. And I want you guys to tell me in the comments which one is your favorite. So, let's hop right into it over here. First one that we're going to look at is Ant-Man. This is the base card. So, we don't rank it, but I'm going to talk about Ant-Man super quickly. So, his ongoing is if you have three other cards in the location, he gets plus three. He is a one cost who goes up to one four. Um, Ant-Man in the game is really fun. He's one of my favorite one cost cards to have. I think he's always helpful no matter what kind of deck. Obviously, ongoing is really good, but he really fits into any kind of deck that I can think of. I can't really think of any bad ones for him. He's just a generally really good card here. Um, fantastic art for the original card as well let me just say he's one of the cards that even with some of the variants that i own i stick to the original one but i don't know all of the variants we're gonna hop right into it so let's scroll down here and there they are so i'm gonna open each one of them up super quickly here oh there are some good ones here oh there are some good ones here okay let's hop into the first one right over here so this is the pixel one you guys have heard me talk about this a million times by now. If you haven't seen all my other videos, make sure to go watch my other rankings of Magneto. Uh, who else did I do? Uh, Spider-Man, Arrow, a bunch of other ones. I always talk about the Pixel ones being in my uh, least favorites. Um, not because they're bad. They're just not as good as the other ones. That's all I have to say. Um, this one goes right in with the other ones where it's okay. It's, it's, it's good, but again, it's... Nothing special. I do like the ants in the back. I think this is the first time I noticed the ants behind uh, the Pixel Ant-Man. Um, this is definitely a skip. Like, if I see this in my shop, I would skip it. And if I were to get this one in a box or something, I wouldn't be super thrilled about it. Again, because it's Pixel, not because it's bad or anything like that. Next up, oh, this is such a good one. Andy Park is the artist for this one. Uh, I'm pretty sure this is the MCU version of it. I'm not 100% sure, but it definitely looks... A lot like the MCU version. Um, this is obviously him in the uh, shrinking down. But you see him as a bigger version for every reason. Um, very cool. Like this one a lot. Um, it's a good one. I, I I really don't have anything bad to say about this. This is another one that if... This is one that I would buy. If I were to see this in the shop, 100%, I would purchase this one. Um, I don't actually know how many golds this one's worth. Does it say down here? A 1,200. Pretty expensive. <laughs> but... Uh, I think it's worth it. I, I do like this one a lot. Next up, the baby variant. Ooh, I like this one. I also just realized that there is no uh, chibi ver variants of the Ant-Man yet. Uh, baby variant, love it. I love it with the looking at, like, uh, using this to look at him and everything. His eyes, <laughs> the smile in the eyes. Love this one. I'm a big fan of the baby ones. I prefer chibi over babies, but they're really good as well. Uh, another purchase one. If I were to see this one, I would buy this one. Or if I were to get this one for... Um, 700, yeah, 700 gold, I would definitely buy this. Or if I were to get it in a box, I'd be very happy with this one. Really good. Next up is, uh, oh, this is one of the ones I do own. I'm just trying to remember, is this the one in the season pass? I think so, is it not? Steampunk, yeah, this is the season pass one. There you go, I wasn't, I, there, you'll see, there's another one that looks really similar to this one. You'll understand why I mixed them up. Um, this one is Ant-Man on top of, I think they call him Anthony, right, from the movie? Is that what his name was? I'm pretty sure that's him. Or Antonio from Ant-Man and the Wasp 2. Either Anthony from the first one or Antonio from the second one. It's one of those guys. You Let me know in the comments if you know which one it is. Um, great. I love this one. The steampunk version. This is from the season pass. Um, so most of you guys, if you bought this month's pass, you will end up getting this one. Very good one. I think you guys would be very, very happy with this variant uh, as well. Ah, this is the one that I always confuse it with. That, that's what I was talking about. This is the other one of Ant-Man on top of either Anthony or Antonio or whatever, if this guy has a name. Uh, Ryan Benjamin. I also own this one. That's why I'm very confused because I've got both and I mix them up all the time. But it's a good one. I think this is one, again, that I do enjoy. Uh, I'm starting to notice that Ant-Man is very classic in his uh, variants. They're not like out of the like super different from one another very similar um so i don't really have much different to say about this one because it, it when you look back at the previous one they're both ant-man on a on a bug <laughs> so there you go pretty good and last but not least oh my god fei chen i hope i said that right this 
is amazing. I've never seen this one. This must be an unreleased one. Let's scroll down here. It is. Okay, this is an unreleased one. Damn, that's a good one. That That's a really good... I don't know how you guys feel about this one, but I really, really like this Ant-Man variant with the bullets and all of that. Meeting 8 a.m. Oh, God. The art, the, the art is... The colors are so bright on this one. Looks really cool. The card is full of stuff, but it's not like... It's a clean, full card. I like it. Really good. So, as always, we go back to here. So, we have one, two, three, four, five, six of them to rank one more time. So, I just want to make sure I'm ranking them properly here. I think I'm going to do that. Oops, sorry. Again, I always do this live. So, this is the part where it gets messy. So, give me two seconds here to make sure I understand how I want to put these all in order. Yeah, okay. I have figured it out. So, I think... This one? Nope. Where's the baby one? There's the baby one. Alrighty. Where are we going to go? This one here. That one. That one. Okay, perfect. There we go. So here's my ranking. Number six. My least favorite is going to be the pixel one. Um, this is the... I would say this is the only one of all the variants of Ant-Man that I would be unhappy to get, let's say. Uh, I, I wouldn't be like super pissed. I mean, it's whatever. Variants of variant, but this is definitely my least favorite. Like, if I can only, if I can, if I had to buy five of them and ignore one, this is the one I would ignore for sure. After this, the top five, I would be super happy with, and you guys will see why. Number five is the baby one. I think the baby one is really cute. I like it. I love the art style, and it fits with all the other baby variants, which I really like. Obviously, they, they when they all have one style, they fit really well together. It's a good one. I Again, I wouldn't be unhappy with this one. I think it's fine. So this is number five. Number four and number three, quite honestly, they're pretty much the same. So I'm just going to put them together. This is the first, and I'm just going to say it's a tie because... They're so similar. If I really, really, really had to pick one, I'd put this one as three and this one as four. But honestly, they're, they're pretty much the same in my opinion. Very, very similar. So that's number four and three. Number two is this one from the MCU. Again, I really like it because it's clean and it's simple and you get it straight away. It's Ant-Man. He's a superhero. He could be huge or he could be tiny. Love it. And number one, it's got to be this one. The new one that isn't even in the game yet. Uh, Fei Chen super happy with this one such a cool variant um i don't know what you guys think but this one stands out to me when you compare it to rest if i go back here i just i feel like having all of them there my eyes go just straight to this one this is definitely my my favorite one down here all right so that's my ranking of the ant-man variants thursday on the day of the release of the movie we will rank uh, all of the variants for wasp that we will have ant-man and wasp on and what can't speak Ant-Man and the Wasp done, which means in the comments below and in the next week's video, give me your ranking of the Ant-Man variants and which card should I uh, rank the variants for next week? Because I do two per week, so let me know which one should be the next character we do. All right, everybody. As always, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Comment below uh, your ranking and the next cards you want to see. Subscribe if you're new here. It would really appreciate it. And make sure to come check us out on Twitch. We are live three days a week playing Marvel Snap. The it's in the description of this video. Uh, and as always, have a good rest of your day. Take care. Bye-bye.